One Oklahoma woman is encouraging women everywhere to get their routine cancer screenings. She speaks from experience. News 9's Jordan Fremstead shares her story of perseverance and also the path she's paved for others. Jordan? Amanda and Carl, Oklahoma native Joyce Jackson has plenty of experience sharing the truth with the community. This time she shares her story to help others. Joyce Jackson's Midwest City home is full of memories. A couple of years ago. The past reminds her where she's been. A lot of family history. And where she's going. These are some of the magazines that I produced. 2022's memory. Kind of shocked my brain. Left an indelible mark on her life. The word cancer is frightening. According to the American Cancer Society, black women are 41% more likely to die from breast cancer than white women. Being a black female, you're at risk. Joyce knows the truth about health care disparities amongst the black community. I encourage everybody just to take care of themselves. Joyce has fought for equal rights her whole life. We learn a lot of lessons. In 1958, she marched with civil rights activist Clara Looper. I was in her history class. When she was just a teenager. To me, we had the best teachers in the whole wide world. She joined Oklahoma City TV News Broadcasting. I started in 1970. Believing other black women came before her. Apparently not. <laughs> the Oklahoma Historical Society said she was the first. And here we are today, where things seem to be moving backwards. It's why Joyce shared her journey, because memories reveal the progress made. Make sure that everyone has the same rights. And the work that lies ahead, so everyone. People are people. Can live equal, healthy lives. People are not that different. Now, Joyce was declared cancer-free last May. It is Black History Month, and Joyce wants stories like this to be a year-round conversation. She hopes people will educate themselves about the issues minorities face in Oklahoma City. Live in the newsroom, Jordan Fremstead, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.